Hello, my friends. It is a rainy day down here at the river, but that's not going to stop us from praying today. I hope that uh, you are all enjoying the day in whatever way you can, if you're outside or inside, uh, hopefully inside on a day like this. And certainly if you're taking the time to pray right now, today might be one of those days to stay inside and, you know, walk around the living room a few times and pray in there instead of coming down here to the river at this moment. But there are lots of things to pray for, and I want to let you know a few of them. Uh, first, kind of a recap of uh, last week, we got to pray for Keenan and Christine as they prepared for their wedding day, and they got married on Saturday, had an amazing time. They got married in Stratford and then had the reception at our church, and it was a wonderful time to celebrate the amazing gift that God has given us of marriage. And I pray that, and we pray that now, that, after that day, that God blesses them as they begin walking in marriage together. So we are praying for them right now. We're also praying for their family because Christine, being from Germany, had a lot of family from Germany come over for the wedding. Uh, we got to host her dad at our house. I know some of you got to host various family members of the Klink family in your houses. So we're praying that they have a safe trip back home to Germany or wherever it is they went from here exactly. So. We're going to keep Keenan and Christine and the whole family in our prayers. A few things coming up this week. Uh, first of all, we have Youth Week happening right now. So Youth Week is going on in Mitchell and YFC is partnering with uh, a few different organizations in town to, to make that happen. So we're going to be praying for Youth Week for the youth of our town. We're going to, going to be praying for YFC, Youth Unlimited in particular because it's also their banquet week and that is Saturday the day of the banquet and if you have if you are participating in the banquet going there looking forward to seeing you of course uh, but there's many different ways to support YFC just a reminder uh, there's the silent auction so send somebody along with instructions to bid on that thing you really want uh, you can find out more information by looking up YFC's website look at YFC's Facebook page uh, there are lots of ways to figure out what's going on with YFC but that banquet is Saturday we're praying that God blesses Jesse and Victoria YFC Mitchell uh, abundantly uh, and we're going to be talking about abundance in a couple weeks when we get into Jesus's first miracle in our new miracle series coming up in two weeks uh, but more on that later this coming Sunday we have sports camp a Sunday we have Sydney Pierce from Scripture Union coming to talk about sports camp it's gonna be amazing we're looking forward to that also on this Sunday we are going to be praying for our, this week our members that are joining the church on Sunday. We've had two membership classes and another one still planned uh, to accommodate all the people who are interested in becoming members of the church, which is amazing. So be praying for new members of our church. We're going to be inducting several of them on Sunday. I'm really, really looking forward to that next week. We are praying now for what's going on next week, the March to Life uh, for Life sorry, in Ottawa is going to be happening. That is the biggest rally for pro-life, for standing up for the unborn and for the rights of children who are still inside their mothers. We are going to be praying for that. We actually have someone from the church, Pat Kelly, who has uh, also told us he's going to be going up and has room to take people with him. Just so you know, this event, um, Pat was telling me, is apparently the largest event besides Canada Day on Parliament Hill every year. So this is a, a an opportunity perhaps if you're interested in being part in one of the biggest movements for standing up for the, the rights and the dignity of the lives of unborn children. So I uh, want you to know about that. Let's be praying about that. But if you're curious about going, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to the church office. We'll give you some more info. Uh, it is really raining right now, so <laughs> we're going to get to praying and pray along with me, all right? <sighs> Father God, you are the maker of heaven and earth. You are the one who knit us together in our mother's wombs. You are the one who knows everything, and yet you choose to know each one of us personally. And God, by the grace that you have made known to us in Jesus, our Lord and Savior and King, you are calling us into a relationship with you and to do kingdom work here in the world. 
So as we work backward through this list of things we just talked about praying about, we look forward in two weeks to this opportunity for kingdom work to be done as the rights of the unborn and the dignity of the lives of the unborn is, is, is stood up for uh, in Parliament or uh, on Parliament Hill in Ottawa next week. We pray for a great turnout. We pray for your hand of blessing, for peace, uh, and also for boldness, for peace and boldness at this event. God, I pray that you would have your way with this event and we lift it up to you. God, we pray for Youth Unlimited, for the youth of our town. We pray that you would bless them, Jesse and Victoria, as they help the youth of our town. We thank you so much that we have people like uh, like Caitlin and others in our church, Jesse, Paul, um, who are active in the lives of the youth as well. Emmy, uh, there's of course Pastor Brian. So many people in our church who take an interest in the youth in this town. We pray that you would bless them as they reach out to youth. Most of all, we pray that you bless the young people in our town. God, I pray that they would see you, that they would be encouraged, that there would be people who care for them, that show them the way of Jesus. And yeah, we bless this whole Youth Week and the Youth Unlimited Banquet coming up this Saturday. We pray for abundance and for blessing on Jesse uh, and Victoria. And God, I pray for the uh, members that are going to be inducted on Sunday. I pray for a rich and deep faith in all of the people who are part of our church, uh, that it would be deepening, that we'd never be satisfied with whatever level we're at, because we'd always be seeking to trust you more and grow in our faith more with you, God. So God, I pray for everyone who's going to be taking that, uh, that leap of membership on Sunday. And Father, for, for Sydney, as she comes and speaks for Sports Camp and for this outreach opportunity we have with Sports Camp, I pray that you would bless all the volunteers, Sydney. Uh, of course, we pray for the kids that are coming out, that they would have soft hearts ready to hear about the good news of Jesus Christ. Thank you for this amazing opportunity that Sports Camp is and the countless stories over the years, the hundreds of hands raised and kids co going and praying with counselors who want to follow Jesus. It's amazing and we praise you and we thank you, God. And Father, we pray for uh, Keenan and Christine and, and for the Christine's family as they travel. Father, bless this young couple as they begin their marriage. And I pray that you would have your hand on them their whole lives. Strengthen and confirm their faith and draw them close to each other. Father, for everything else going on in our lives today, we commit it to you. We say together, we trust you and you are good and your mercy endures forever. Thank you, Lord. We love you. Thank you for loving us first. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, I can't tell if you can tell uh, that my phone is covered in water right now, but I'm going to end this video here. Blessings on you guys and have a wonderful day. <laughs>